Let's talk about Brady Kostecki. I guess we're going to talk about Bathurst. Bathurst, he was on pole position. Fastest guy in quality trim all weekend. The fastest race pace as well. But I guess you can't really tell in practice. Um, And then race day, Shane Van Giersbergen and Brock Feeney were just better. And there was some something with fuel as well. They didn't capitalise on the safety car. Brody is still a form guy. Um, maybe maybe it's a little bit questionable after Bathurst, but you know Bathurst is always an exceptional race. You can't base everything on that. He's leading the championship, which is very good for the championship for the series to have somebody different doing well. And he's beating Will Brown, and that's great for him. That's great for his career. And in the time he's been in the main game, he has been constantly impressive. I don't, I don't really know the details, but I guess he came back from NASCAR um, in America and came to Australia and drove for Matt Stone Racing in Super 2 in 2017 and got a couple P5s. It wasn't the best season, but you know, he needed to work it out and maybe he didn't have a great environment in that team. So 2018 and 19, he was in Kostecki Brothers Racing, engineering his own car, working on his own car, and they became really competitive in that time. At the end of 2018, Brody was the best guy in the field because he was winning races and he was constantly up the front and he won at Newcastle and Sandown and stuff. So then 2019, he took the gamble with Jake and they ran an endurance wild card in 2019. And they just got better and better and better. And, and so by Sandown, they were competitive. They weren't putting up with other drivers thinking that they have to get out of the way or anything. They were racing hard. So Brody got signed to Erebus for the 2020 Enduros and he joined Eagleston Motorsport, which at the time I thought was a risky move. But then I went to the LA 500 and I watched him just being constantly competitive all weekend. It was him versus Thomas Randall all weekend. And to have him be in the Eagleston car with no sponsors on it, I think that was the Saturday, and on the Sunday, Super Loop, the title sponsor of the of the event stuck their name on the side of the car because why wouldn't you you got to back something that's drawing attention to your event uh you know 2020 was the covid year and so it was 2021 but the main point is that uh eagleston didn't compete in a few of the super two events so he missed out on the season but he did do bathurst in 2020 with anton he didn't put up with anyone he was he drove hard was racing hard against Jamie Winkup and he made him Winkup made a mistake and crashed and having Brody be that good was a sign of things to come. So far in, in general, it has just gotten better. I guess he's got a a good head on his shoulders. He knows what he's doing and he knows what he needs to do and he doesn't let things get to him. He doesn't seem to crack under pressure or anything like that. If they have a, a difficult weekend, hey P two is not bad. But that's twenty three. The rookie season, I, I expected Will Brown to be better than Brody, and I thought Will Brown would just be better overall, but over the last three years, it has seemed like Brody is just the better driver and the better part of the team. Um, and so it's interesting to think that Triple Eight signed Will Brown. Surely they would have approached Brody Kostecki. He's the one that's giving them the hardest time. Will Brown just seems to be on a difficult run of performance. Uh, that's just the way it is, I guess. 2022 was a difficult year for Erebus. Brody seems to ha- seem to handle it the best. He seemed to get the best results. And he finished not only in the top 10 of the championship, but one position better than his rookie season, where they arguably had a better car. When you see results like that, that's like a Scott McLaughlin sort of result where you go, hang on a second, how come you had that that hard a year but you still managed to make it even better it just seems to to nail it doesn't matter how it happened and then comes 2023 and he was the the first pole position in gen 3 and you know it's qualifying trim so it doesn't matter what car you're in ford or chevy you can get pole position and they didn't have a car for, for to win the race but at albert park they turned it around and Brody got his first couple win and has turned it into is it seven wins now he's just been incredible uh i know people are thinking oh he's gonna leave for nascar and stuff like that but that's almost fear-mongering trying to say that somebody isn't relevant because they might leave 
well, you don't know when that might happen, if it ever happens. So there's no point talking about it until it's a certainty. Shane Van Gisbergen, it seemed a bit unlikely for him to leave until he got that win at Chicago. And once he did that, then it was almost inevitable that that was going to happen. And the same thing with Cameron Waters, just because a driver expresses interest, you, you actually have to have something evident to prove that it's going to happen. Shane Van Gisbergen's won everything there is to win. There's no reason for him to stay in supercars if he doesn't want to. You know, it's great racing, but it's not giving him a better resume by winning more championships in more Bathurst. So he can go to NASCAR, and if he can succeed there, then he's an even better driver. Brody will be a worthy champion if he can pull it off this year, and he'll definitely deserve it. Not just because he's won the most races or because... He's been fast or because of parity or whatever you want to say, but you know, it's Chevy versus Chevy at the moment, Triple Eight and Erebus. You've got a driver that can do well in difficult circumstances, and that is possibly the biggest deal you can have in supercars, if not in motorsport, is to have a driver who, when the, when the chips are down, he can still pull it off. Darwin, he still had the championship lead at the end of the at the end of the round. Uh, I think he had a, a good run of podiums, but he hadn't won since Albert Park. And then even in Townsville, he hadn't won. He got a podium while Will Brown got a win, had the championship lead. Will Brown had the championship lead on the Sunday at Townsville. Brody got a podium. Will had a shocker, and boom, Brody got the, the got the championship lead back got another podium at Sydney Motorsport Park you just keep on racking up those results every weekend there's nothing to complain about and it's all about consistency winning championships is about is about consistency so yeah Brody Kostecki is one of those is one of the best drivers in the series at the moment better than Will Brown